Hey, so in this quick video, I wanted to give you an update in regards to iPrime Capital, or IPC. Uh, many of you guys have been asking me questions in regards to it. Honestly, I don't really like to provide you guys with information without actually having uh, clear info myself. So I decided to actually take the time to wait and see what these guys are, were actually doing. And in order to show you what's been going on with it, and of course, give you at least my opinion, all right? Because the final answer, we probably nobody has it. But uh, this is the website right here. If you guys remember, I Prime Capital, for those of you who don't know, you guys can uh, check out my previous videos in regards to it. But basically, it was an audit trader for Forex trading and for crypto trading. And uh, it was actually really, really profitable. I'm not going to say anything else. I mean, it was indeed really profitable. Nevertheless, unfortunately, uh, it stopped working due to a hack system or something. Let me just go ahead and log in. It stopped working due to a, um, a hacking system and so on. And then uh, right now we're still waiting what's been going on with it. Uh, one of the craziest things in regards to this auto trader is that it told you that you should download the application. Right, right now it's not even loading. Take a look, it just closes automatically. But uh, here's the story behind it, all right? Uh, we got a, a couple of updates right here. Uh, this is not important. But um, here's basically what happened uh, right now. And you guys can see that I got 20, almost $26,000 with these guys right now. So what happened is that uh, apparently their system was actually hacked and uh, they had to, for some reason, they had to um, not close their operations, but close the robots that were, that, that were actually using. So since they, they had to close the, uh, the things, the auto traders stop working. As a matter of fact, I do think that I have right here, uh, I don't even know what the broker, uh, I think it was Mazari. There you go. So here's the broker that I was actually using with this system. It's right here. And uh, once it finished loading, uh, then I'm going to uh, show you. It says invalid account or something. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to show you my trades. But you guys can check like my previous videos in regards to it. You guys will realize that, yes, uh, what these guys, what happened was that since the system was actually hacked, they stopped using the robots, all right? It was the genius bot, the uh, smart bot, and so on. And uh, they blocked all of, their all of their accounts due to this hacking system or hacking something. And uh, they transferred all of the money of all of the accounts into their own token called IUSD. Now, this is a huge huge red flag, okay? Why? Because uh, for those of you who don't know, whenever you have an ICO or initial coin offering or a new token released into the marketplace, uh, basically you can, uh, you know, increase the price of that asset just by having a bunch of transactions made with that asset as well, people buying it. So the point of transferring, these people had over... I think over $600 million or something. I'm not sure. I, I, I think I saw the number somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. But they have millions of dollars in uh, trading accounts from us as users. Probably you have that money stocked there as well. So what happened was that they used all of that money and transferred into the coin. Guess what? That increases the price of the token. So they can just basically make profit with our money. I'm not saying that's what they did, but it seems like. OK, now, how is it that you can withdraw your money? Apparently, you have to download this uh, this app. If you can go to the home page, IP, uh, IP Cloud, whatever, and your, your store. I try to do it, to do it, but I'm, I wasn't able to withdraw. I haven't tried it that much. Honestly, if some of you have been able to withdraw your money, like, for instance, uh, taking it to the, that coin or using this coin, and send it to MetaMask or some other uh, exchange where we can turn it into USDT or, or Bitcoin or something, let me know. Uh, let me know in the comments. I'm going to make a whole video if you guys find out a way. I haven't really tried it that much, but that's the update in regards to this specific company. It hasn't disappeared yet, so 
we haven't been totally scammed or anything, but there is no response from the company. So uh, I don't want to say that, like I said, I don't want to say that we've been scammed or anything like that, but I can tell you up front that this money's stuck right here. I've seen people with $100,000 stuck in their accounts. So I guess I'm not the worst, <laughs> but that doesn't make it better for you guys. I know you guys put money into it. And as usual, like I always mention, I always recommend you systems that I personally use. So if we get screwed, we all get screwed. If we make money, we all make money, okay? So in this specific case, we're actually stuck right here, but hopefully this gets resolved. And as long as I can withdraw my money, by the way, my initial deposit was $5,000. So I didn't lose the $25,000. So if by any chance I can withdraw at least my $5,000, I'm going to be good to go. But if not, I didn't lose much. But if I can withdraw the $26,000, then probably the waiting is going to be worth it. So let me know in the comments section below if you guys are actually also part of IPC. If you guys have any information, I'm going to read your comments and then probably make a video of it. So I just wanted to give you guys this quick update. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.